Hello YouTube, this is your boy Vrod and welcome to Vrod's Nerd Stuff. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a custom base that was built for me by the homeboy Morgan over at Macabre Custom Builds. So stay tuned as we take a look at this phenomenal work of art. Okay, so here's a still of the base, and before I get started on the review, I just wanted to say that, you know, it, it kind of ticks me off that a lot of people hate on Friday the 13th Part 5, because it was a Friday the 13th movie, even though that Jason Voorhees wasn't the killer. It, it you know, the whole thing with Roy Burns being the killer and not Jason, I mean, I, I understand, but at the same time, it, it goes with the continuity of the movie, so... Um, to me, this is a, a very good movie. It is a Friday the 13th movie, and I love Roy Burns as a character. Okay, so moving along to the base itself, I went with the light blue because that was the color of the chevrons on Roy Burns' mask. So um, he gave me the option of what color I wanted, and I went with the blue. And here's a close-up of the Friday the 13th logo that he embedded on the front. Oh man, it came out really good with the blood on the 13. Really nice little touch right there. And he threw in a couple of extras, which I thought was really cool. And one of them being this machete, which is for a 1-6 scale figure. Custom painted. Looks really nice. You can see the blood on it. Um, you could keep it embedded into the tree stump that's on the front or, you know, just have the figure hold it. So that was a nice little touch on his part another little extra that he added was this uh, double-sided axe now I've been looking for one of these double-sided axes for a while you can see the blood right there oh man it looks really really good uh, I couldn't find one and he said you know what I can make one of those so he threw that in there as an extra and man it came out really really good as we take a look at the the base itself you can see that there's rocks and a bush in there. Off to the side, hidden behind the bush, uh, is a little switch. And uh, you can't really see it. It was kind of hard to find, but I found it right there in the side. And once you click on it, there comes on the lights that are hidden inside the rocks that lights up the, the base. I chose, again, he gave me the option of what colors I wanted. I chose blue and this little yellow. Um, it lights up the, the base itself and it's it's a nice little touch for these the space i would have been just happy without the lights but he threw in the lights and i was like all right i'll take it um in a second right here i i turn off the lights so you can see what it looks like and yeah it, it gives it a nice little eerie little look to it um i'll dim the lights a little bit this is how i plan to to show off the figure is with the lights low right about there and man with the figure on top of it man this this base looks awesome gives it a little creepy little little feel of a forest and like i said man this is i'm so happy with the way this base came out there's the bush right there all the dirt on there it's not loose it's it's embedded in there i don't know how he did it i don't know how to make these kind of bases or anything i'm i'm totally stupid when it comes to how they do it but i know he uses foam and all that for the rocks but man everything came out phenomenal it looks like a little forest scene like Roy's walking around in the forest. So I'm so happy with the way it looks. Here's the machete when it gets embedded. Oops, I dropped it right there. But that's the way the machete looks when it's um, embedded inside the, the wooden stump right there. So yeah, this is, this is the base. And like I said, I can't say enough about it. This His work is second to none. And uh, I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like with the figure. In a second okay so here's the base with the figure inside and man i i love the way it looks the the piece itself the head sculpt was done by one's custom the coveralls was by c creations and man he he told me that uh, macabre custom builds told me that he seen the figure and he said i'm gonna do that figure justice with the base and man he delivered he knocked it out of the park so I like this little shot of Roy 
upwards angle. It look, looks pretty badass with him holding the axe ready for war. And like I said, uh, man, this piece just really comes together with this base. I'm really digging it. I'm so happy with the way it came out. And this is how I plan to display the figure itself uh, with the lights dim, with the LED lights on on the base. And like I said, uh, I can't say enough about it. I don't want to keep going on and on about how badass this figure looks, but it really came out good. This is how I plan to display it when I'm chilling in my game room, playing some video games or whatever. Post it up. I'm going to have the lights dim, have this figure. Oh, man, that looks so sexy. Look at that. Look at that. Um, man, you guys got to check out his IG. I mean, he, he built some pretty badass dioramas. That's how I found him. I hit him up and he delivered. Look at that blood on the axe right there. But yeah, you got to go check out his other dioramas. I just, I want to like buy all this stuff, but I, man, I've got no room in my game room to, to uh, display it all, but I'm going to try to make some room because man, these, uh, these dioramas are lit. And this base right here, I'm like, look at, just look at that. Look how, how badass that looks. On a little side note, I'm trying to collect all the weapons that Roy used in the movie, and it's going to be kind of hard. Uh, right now, I got the hedge clippers, garden shears, whatever you want to call them. I got the machete, got the axe, I got a road flare. Things I do need to collect are that pole spike that he used to kill demon. Um, I got to find the pig splitter, the the meat cleaver. And the buck knife and that little strap thing he used to kill that, that one dude. But as of right now, this is what I got. Um, that's more than enough, but I got to go big with this figure. Another thing I changed on this figure was the coveralls. Now, if you see my previous video, I did a, I did a review on this figure and used and talked about the pieces I used. I used a Tenilus Customs uh, Michael Myers coveralls and it was kind of bothering me because you know Roy Burns doesn't have a flap on on his coveralls and I was using Michael Myers ones these ones are really good but to nearly made but man I had to go with some Roy coveralls not Michael Myers okay so that's gonna wrap up this video um, I'm so happy with the way this came out thank you so much Morgan please check out Morgan's uh, IG at macabre underscore custom underscore builds and you could see all his his phenomenal works of art. Um, this is my price piece, and I'm gonna display it right here on this dusty ass shelf with the rest of my Friday the Thirteenth stuff. So uh, if you want, if you guys can check out my IG at imposter underscore vrod v r o d. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see that uh, more of these types of videos. Um, but like I said, man, phenomenal piece. Great job. And uh, please like and subscribe. This is V-Rod over and out.